Hello there, I'm Serfancy and in this tutorial I will show you how to add or change sky in your Unreal Engine project. You can change it based on the time of the day, color rate, add lighting, stars, sun, blah blah blah, all this funny stuff. So I'm gonna stop wasting your time and let's get to it. First thing you will need is this asset on Unreal Engine Marketplace, which is completely for free, don't worry, I'm not gonna make you pay for anything. It's called Good Sky and I will of course leave you a link in the description. You can already see here what options we will have, but there is actually much more. And the really good thing how performant it is, it works for VR, for mobile games, etc, etc. I myself use it for Oculus Quest games and it works really well. I already have it, so let me just add it to the project. Alright, here we go. You can open Good Sky folder and the only thing you have to do is to take this blueprint and put it in your map. And of course, it's a good idea to delete the previous sphere. So you have your Sky Sphere blueprint, let's get rid of it. And look at that, here we have new map that already looks pretty good. So now what you can do, let me take details panel here on the left. And the most fun thing is just to move time of the day, where you can move it and set it up to whatever you want and it will adjust and change as you need. You know what, let's delete these things so we can really see that. Now you can see that it's a bit high when I deleted all those walls, so only, so only thing you have to do is to double click on that good sky, it will get you to the right size and put it all down. Now if I go back to my personal character, it looks much better. If you want just something quick, you can use sky preset and use one of these. So let's say sky forest, style forest or anything like that. But I'm gonna leave it in custom to show you what you can do here. You can of course change different kind of clouds, their speed, etc, etc. And I think its speed is a bit lower, so I'll show you it in a minute. But right here, let's just set how much you want it to cover with clouds. So let's have it completely clear. It looks kind of weird like this, but doesn't matter. And change cloud coverage to super heavy. Oh yeah, something like that. Sky effects is something that you will definitely want to play with. You can add here, for example, moon, which I can see right now, but it's probably because I have a different time of day. So let's switch it to sun and stars. And now if you scroll completely down, you can change these different SFX settings. So you know what, let's add here storm. That's a really fun thing to do. So let's switch it to storm and here you go. Now if I scroll down, let's change lighting brightness. So something super high. And let's also change its color. I want to have a red lightings or something like that. Yeah, that's kind of dark. Holy crap, that looks actually really cool. It looks much better than I expected, not gonna lie. And now let's also increase frequency so it goes like super much. Oh, hell yeah. Pretty good for some horror game or something like that. And pretty important thing if you are thinking about performance is using sky mesh. Right now it's set to sphere, which means everywhere around you is sphere, but if you want you can send, change it only to hemisphere, which means that you will have only upper part of that, which may be what you are looking for, especially if player won't be able to see from here. And it will save you tons of performance because, because we have half of that mesh. And if you really need to save it, you can also double click on that static mesh and decimate it even further. So here in detail, there is reduction setting. You can set triangles to about 50, apply it. And it doesn't really change anything, but it has half of the triangles it had before. So something you, so something you may definitely look into if you want to have super high performance. If you want to get into more advanced setting, you can click on this little arrow and adjust here, for example, movement speed. So it moves super fast or just overall color horizon fall off, etc, etc. Really cool if you are making something stylized. Alright, that's about it for this tutorial. I hope that you learned something. Now you can have Sky for your game. And, and that's it from me. Huge thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon. And see ya around. Surfancy out.